Possession of so-called magic mushrooms is illegal in California, except when used for medical research. And there's a growing body of evidence that the psychedelic fungus has therapeutic effectiveness for a number of conditions. Researchers in Santa Monica are starting a medical trial now to see if they can treat alcohol dependence. NBC4's Patrick Healy reports. They were dismissed for decades, the psychedelics that enthralled the 60s counterculture. But in recent years, medical consensus is building that they were onto something discovered by earlier cultures, that hallucinogens, in particular psilocybin from so-called magic mushrooms, can be effective in treating numerous conditions, from addiction to PTSD. A while back, Piers Chapin told NBC News psilocybin therapy saved her life. It was very profound. It was very refreshing. She received treatment for depression in a medical trial at the renowned Johns Hopkins University Medical Center. I was seeing things a lot differently for the first time in a, a long time since childhood. There's a renaissance in psychedelic assisted therapies that has been going on now for probably the last 20 years. MD um, and neurosurgeon Daniel Kelly is co-founder of the Pacific Neuroscience Institute in Santa Monica at St. John's Medical Center. There's so much potential to help so many people in need. During psychedelic therapy, the patient receives a dose and while monitored, goes into a hallucinogenic state for several hours, a mystical experience or as the hippies coined it, a trip. Another clinical trial at Johns Hopkins showed promise in helping cancer patients deal with their psychological stress. It made me feel more comfortable with living because you're not afraid of dying. Exactly how it works is not clear, but Dr. Kelly said it's believed psilocybin's effect on serotonin receptors enables areas of the brain to interact in a different way. This cross-referencing and crosstalk that occurs during the journey is thought to somehow allow people to come to these insights that they couldn't otherwise get as to why they're drinking, why their behavior is so stuck in this rut. The Pacific Neuroscience Institute is now beginning a clinical trial for treating alcohol dependence, going beyond earlier psilocybin studies elsewhere and employing a suggestion from the filmmaker who documented that Johns Hopkins trial with cancer patients in his film, Fantastic Fungi. Nature is a healing modality. So I want to be able to bring that into healthcare. Louis Schwartzberg suggested combining psilocybin therapy with a specialty of his, nature imagery using time lapse and micro and macro focus, revealing recurring patterns. The vision for the film was really to be able to let a patient feel the fact that everything is connected. The clinical trial is to test whether the 40 minute film Schwartzberg created can indeed, as Dr. Kelly puts it, prime the mystical experience. Our hypothesis is that these patients who get the nature themed video will have a higher likelihood of, of trying to deal with their drinking and reduce their intake or stop drinking altogether. And after the psychedelic trip, a lot of work that the individual has to do by themselves and with the therapist to sort all this out. I believe it's historic. This psychedelic renaissance is, I think it's gonna transform behavioral health care and it's long overdue. Psychedelics are not considered addictive, but they are controlled substances, schedule one, just like heroin. So for now, psychedelics are legal, are permitted only for medical research. But under a bill introduced in the California legislature, it would recognize their therapeutic potential and also permit their possession, use, and sharing though not sale of psychedelics. Reporting live, Patrick Healy, NBC4 News.